that we are buying a house. Okay, that's nice. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Heather. If you have seen me before, then you already know that my name is Heather, so welcome back. Before I start this video, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the audio in last week's video. I mentioned it in the description, but I didn't mention it in the actual video. I know it was a little bit messed up. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this camera and I don't have a mic for it yet. So I'm just sort of troubleshooting the best I can to figure out how I can get the best audio for you guys. So hopefully this week's is a little bit better. Anyways, now on to the actual topic of this video. For this week, I wanted to do another long distance relationship date ideas video because I know that you guys love those and I know that a lot of you are in long distance relationships and it can be a little tricky to figure out date ideas when you're not physically together. If you haven't seen my other two videos that I've done on this topic, I will link them up in the eye and down below so definitely check those ones out as well and I'm actually really really happy with these ones I think there's some really fun and creative ones in here that will be super fun for you to do with your partner so I hope that you enjoy them anyways there's no point in dragging this uh, introduction out any longer so let's get into the video The first one is something that you may have seen on TikTok or possibly YouTube, social media in general, but I thought it was such a fun idea and it's definitely possible with a long distance relationship and that is a subjective guess who. So I'm sure you all know the game guess who where you have the boards with all the people on them and then each person has a person <laughs> that's theirs and the other person has to ask certain yes or no questions to figure out who your person is and I think that the subjective guess who is super fun because basically what you do is you ask questions like does your person look like they would blah 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 and then the other person says yes or no and you sort of go off of that it might be a little trickier to figure out the person but I think this is so fun and in order to do this long distance you could either get the physical game and both just have the physical game and do it that way that would work or you could create a little board on on your computer that would be super easy just sort of get a picture of the board or get a little grid on word or something like that and then put the people in you could definitely do it either way and Eli and I haven't tried this but I actually think it would be so fun so I definitely want to so the next idea is another thing that Eli and I haven't tried but I think it would be super fun and that is online shopping for clothes for each other and then having the other person try them on without knowing what the clothes are gonna be I think that would be so much fun and just like a fun little surprise for your partner and that you can do for each other. You could go to their favorite store online and buy them clothes that you think they would like or you think would look good on them and then have them sort of react to them and see if they like them, try them on for you and you can do the same. I think that would be really fun and if your partner ends up not liking the clothes you could always return them of course but yeah I thought that would be super fun. I know that Eli and I when we online shop we like to send each other like oh do you think this is cute? Like blah blah blah. I've gotten her to pick out stuff for me before and I think I think that it would be a super fun thing to do. So that's the second date idea. The third date idea is a movie sort of date idea but more specific than that. Basically it is to watch both of your favorite childhood TV shows and movies together while also simultaneously eating your favorite childhood snacks and meals together. I think that this is super fun and it's very, a very nostalgic thing that you can do together and it also just gives you and your partner a taste of what the other person's childhood was like which can be super fun. I also think this would be amazing to for both of you to create like a fort and watch the movies in that obviously on FaceTime but I think this would be a great little date night and I definitely want to do this with Aliyah because I know we watched some similar shows and stuff when we were younger but I know that we've also both seen different ones so I think that would be super duper fun. This next one is so much fun and again Eli and I haven't done this but I think it would be a blast and I actually told her this morning that we need to do this because it sounds 
hilarious and awesome and fun and that is to create your own version of Chopped. I don't know if you guys have seen that show but basically it is where each chef on this show gets a certain number of random ingredients and they have to make the best meal or concoction of food that they can out of them and then whoever makes the best one wins and I think this would be a super fun thing to do with your partner long distance or not but in order to do it long distance you would just both get the same random ingredients and see who can create a better looking and tasting meal obviously you won't be able to taste each other's meals because you're apart but you could get your roommate to taste it or you yourself could taste it and decide on a scale of 1 to 10 based on presentation and taste whose meal is better. I think this would be hilarious and so much fun to do to do together and you could even film it and make your own little version of Chopped. I think this would be a blast. The next one is something that will help you to get to know your partner a bit more which is always nice and that is to play newlywed games or most likely two games. Lai and I have definitely done this before and it's so much fun. We love it. I know that there's this one user on TikTok who makes a bunch of these most likely two couple question thingies and if I can find her username I will put it on the screen but Eli and I love to do these together and you can find so many newlywed question tag things on Google and it's just super fun and a nice way to learn more about your partner which is always fun no matter how long the relationship has been going on it is always nice to learn more about each other so that would be definitely be something that would be a really nice date night idea for you and your long distance partner. The next idea is to write letters for each other that you can read in the future. I think this is super fun and an intimate thing that you can do with your partner. I actually saw a website on TikTok that you can do this on. I think it's called Future Me and you're able to write a letter to yourself in the future but also a friend or a partner so I think this would be really fun to do with your long distance partner for a date night and even if you don't want to use the website you could also just write a letter on paper and send it to each other and then vow that you'll open it in a year or a few months or however long and I just think that that would be super fun and a really special thing that you could do with your partner when you are not with them physically. The next date idea is something that Eli and I love to do as well and that is to go on Zillow and look for houses that are for sale and sort of pretend that we are buying one and making like a list of our favorite houses and things that we're looking for in a house. We love to do this. It is super fun and you can look in your own city, your partner's city, or even just random places in the world that you would like to live. I think this is a super fun thing to do even on your own but you can definitely do this with your partner and I think it's just something that's nice and special that you can do together and helps you to look forward to the future. The next idea is to write a bucket list together and this is another thing that is very intimate and lets you look forward to your future with your partners so I would definitely recommend it. Eli and I did this a while ago and it's been fun to start checking things off on the list when we actually see each other, those that we can check off. And yeah, I just think bucket lists are so much fun even to do by yourself so doing them with your partner is the best and it'll just give you something to look forward to in the future that you guys can do those things together when you're physically together eventually and it just gives you something to do for a little long distance date night. And the final long distance date idea that I will be sharing with you in this video is to have a little charcuterie board cheese tasting, wine tasting night, obviously if you're of age. I think this would be so much fun to pretend you're on a little wine tasting tour, a little cheese tasting tour, and this is super easy. I know that there's a website that you can order boxes to do cheese tastings and such from, but you could also just easily set this up yourself. Get a bunch of cheeses from the grocery store that you've never tried or you think would be interesting to try and do that together on FaceTime. I think that would be super fun and you could get all dressed up all nice and fancy because that's the sort of thing that you would get fancy for and pretend you're having a little cheese and wine tasting tour. I think that would be a blast so I would definitely recommend doing that. 
All right, so those are all of the long distance date ideas that I have for you today. I hope that you were able to get some new ideas from this video that you and your long distance partner can try out, or even if you and your partner can see each other in person. I'm sure you could do these things as well. They would be super fun. If any of you have any long distance date idea suggestions, please leave them down below because as I always say, Eli and I are always looking for new ideas and I'm sure that people watching this are too. So that would be super helpful. Again, I will link my two other videos that I have on long distance date ideas down below so you can check those out if you've never seen them. And if you guys have any video requests, also leave those down below because I like to make videos that you guys want to see. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.